Hey, when you're mixing up drywall mud, you, you gotta have one of these great big expensive drills and a paddle, right? Well, I've got a paddle that may allow you to do it with a cordless drill and a lot easier, a lot less money. We're gonna test that out right after this. Okay, anytime you're mixing up a bucket of mud like we're going to do right here, generally, if you're going to do very much, you need one of this setup. Like a, this is a pro level setup. It's a really heavy duty, slow turning half inch drill with a handle, T handle, because if you don't have this, it can break your wrist. Literally, if you tried to hold it like this, it'll twist so hard, it could hurt you. Now, you also need a heavy duty paddle. So we got that, but not all of you can afford that. Not all of you need that. Sometimes you just need the more affordable option that I'm going to show you right here. So this is the Tape Buddy Mix It paddle, like you see in the picture here. And this was sent to me by Tape Buddy. You can see we've got this Tape Buddy down here. I'm going to be testing that out in the next video and see if that thing is even something I would recommend or not. I've never used it, but first we're gonna try out this mixing paddle he also sent us because the concept behind this is that it's smaller, it's made out of a really durable material, and because it's smaller, a cordless half-inch drill should be able to turn it. So we're gonna try it now. I got two different muds here. This is a blue dot taping mud this is an all-purpose mud. We're gonna mix up a little bit on both of them. And the reason is this one is thinner. This one's a little bit thicker. So we'll get to put it to the test to see if it will actually spin it okay or not. So first up, we're going to try the taping mud, which is thinner. We got this on the low speed, which gives it more torque. And it, I think it's gonna do fine. You can see this is really thin mud because it's ready for taping and you want it pretty thin. Okay, so I would say it spun that just fine, had no problem. Now let's try it in a little bit thicker mud. This is regular weight, all purpose, and it's not much thicker, but it's thicker. So let's try it starting down here. Okay, it is doing it. It's struggling a little bit more, but it is doing it. Now, I think it would do fine if you were mixing up just a few buckets now and then. So yeah, actually, it feels like it's doing just fine. It might even mix up 10 with no problem. Just pay attention to your drill. If you feel it getting pretty warm or hot, you're overworking it. I've burned one up before doing that. So just be careful with that. But let's try one more thing. Will a half inch cordless drill spin a full size mixing paddle? Okay, I'm going to start with this big drill so you can see how it turns normally with a full size drill. So all we have to do is hand tighten it, hold on to it because it puts a lot of torque on it. It may try and spin the bucket. <laughs> Okay, you can see this, if I was gonna tape with this, I'd probably thin it down a little bit more. But you can see this thing spins it easy. Now let's try the cordless drill. And if you're wondering, my battery does have two out of four bars showing, so it's still decently charged up. Okay, here we go on low speed.
So I can tell you it's struggling a lot more. It is turning it now. Keep in mind that I did just loosen it up by using the big drill on it. Once you spin it a little bit, kind of loosens the mud up. So yes, this is turning it, but it is definitely struggling more than that pedal was. And I can smell the heat. You can smell kind of like a burning smell when they're struggling too hard. And it is doing that right now. And we don't want to push it too far. So now you know, if you're gonna mix up very much and all you got is a cordless drill, try this thing. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. So I'm giving you my honest opinion. I will probably keep that because I can see it'd be handy for just a little when you just wanna mix up a little bit or it'll be great for mixing up small batches of hot mud in a bucket. Hey, I wanted to give you an update. I've actually been using this paddle for another two months or so since I shot this video, and I really do like it. Now, I mainly use it on smaller batches of hot mud, uh, one bucket of mud, so on like a show here, but I'm telling you for that kind of stuff, it actually works great. I'm still gonna use my big mixer for bigger jobs, but Give this thing a try if you only mix up occasionally. So hey, I hope you liked that video. Hope it helped you out. Gave you a cheaper option to mix up your mud. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Don't forget that thumbs up. Take care, everybody.